Hey everybody, this is Trenton Jones. We'll be looking at shoe last retopology in this kind of first half of the video. Mainly prepping a scan last using interpolate curve persistent on mesh so that we're setting some guide curves for the quad remesh. And then we'll go and we'll use that quad remesh. We'll set some edges and then we'll unwrap it. Now that I've already created the quad remesh, I'm selecting these edges and unwelding them. This will let me kind of get to just the seam that I want in the back as kind of a heel split. We'll be using Bacha Unwrap and the UV editor to visualize what has just occurred. Next, we'll be looking at two features from Bacha. One is the image projection tool, which we're just taking a image that could be artwork, could be anything, um, bringing it in uh, just as a regular picture, modifying that surface to fit the last, and then I'm going to be using the second feature, which is soft edit, and I'm going to use this to modify my last. So that my projection, uh, which will bake a texture onto my UVs, uh, so I can use that to kind of create parts and pieces of the bottle itself. We'll see later in the video. I've also added the UV to the document and set the texture from the projection texture to the 2D. Any curves could be done. We're just using this because no pattern was available, either a Jevero or a Crispin pattern. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tracing uh, stitch lines that I'll use to kind of uh, influence my curves or my edge loops in my quad remesh of parts.
then I'll use the curved bullion tool to actually create some closed uh, pieces using that offset from the stitch line. And then once I've kind of completed that, I will then make planar surfaces and turn those into quad mesh. Now that it extruded that edge, it actually gives me a nice edge loop on that corner piece. And what I'm doing is insert another edge to kind of make a channel for that stitch. So once that's kind of been done, I'll make some modifications as you can see. I'm using the soft edit tool to actually get that manipulation of the actual heel cap uh, deforming over this foam piece. So once I have like a completed upper, what I can use is now the B remap object tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and select, I'm gonna remove the projection texture that I have. So I'm back to that kind of core. Um, I'm gonna turn on my 2D mesh and my 3D mesh. Uh, grab all my parts, B remap, and there we go. Since we use the heel unwrap, we're gonna have kind of a disconnect in the back. And we'll go ahead and 3D, once we kind of got it up there, make some modifications. So stitching things back together. done here is I've remapped those edges or the, the edge loops that I turned into curves uh, 
back onto the surface. So from the 3D back down to the 2D so that I can make stitch lines flow along those lines and then remap it back up, just like we did part. We've uh, added some textures and now we want to use that kind of decal tools that is kind of native in Rhino to give a graphic on this piece. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing in just a transparent PNG and then using the widget uh, to modify kind of where it's actually being projected. Cool. And that's it. That's for like the basic overview. And this entire workflow was done in one day. And thanks for watching. Check us out at bacha3d.com.